Hello, Grammarians. Hello, Rosie. Hi, David. Uh, so you've called me into the recording booth today. Yes. Because uh, you have a bone to pick with me. Uh, just a little bit, yeah. Uh, so I have always, in my usage, I've always drawn a distinction between less and fewer. I wouldn't say I'm one of those sticklers that goes around correcting signs at the grocery store checkout. You know, if it says, like, 15 items or less, I'm not going to take out, like, a black Sharpie and say, no, fewer. But um, I I do think that there is a distinction in usage between the two. But you told me that there is not as much as I would like to believe. Look, like, I'm the last person that wants to needlessly subscribe to grammar superstitions, right? Right. Our job is to go around with our little needle of truth and pop them. Yes. That's what that's what I'm going to try to do, or I'm going to try to argue this. Okay, dislodge me from my perch. All right. I'm, I'm going to make a, a broad statement to start with, and we can kind of dig into it. But my my argument is that you can use less to mean or to refer to both countable items, count nouns, and to larger mass nouns, but you can only use fewer to refer to count nouns, like five items or fewer, but you couldn't say fewer water. So you are acknowledging that there is a difference. Oh, definitely. So, okay, so Rosie, what what are count nouns and mass nouns? Good question. So count nouns are essentially nouns that you can count individually as an individual entity. So an example between these two, count noun would be grains of sand. Okay. So I can count, not that I want to, grains of sand individually. But I guess what you're saying is I couldn't count... Sand. Sand. Like, let's say for some reason you and I were having a sand counting contest plucking individual grains of sand from the beach with tweezers, putting them in a bucket, I could say I have uh, fewer grains of sand than you do. Right. But I couldn't say I have fewer sand. Is that what you're saying? That is what I'm saying. Fewer just, it just doesn't, in standard English, it just doesn't go with these mass nouns. You know, fewer sand, fewer, I'm I'm getting fewer sun than I used to. You Mm -hmm. would say I'm getting less sun than I used to, for example, if you're talking about being out in the sun. Sure. Versus hours of sun exposure. Right. You could get fewer hours of sand sand exposure. But my argument, and this is where I think you and I differ, is that I believe you could also say I'm getting less hours of sun exposure. Hmm. And the reason that I feel this way (laughs) is that this trend or this this idea that that fewer always has to go with a count noun is really just, as far as I can figure, just a thing that some guy named Robert Baker wrote in this book. What do you mean, some guy? He just was, like some well, okay. some dude invented he, it. He wasn't. He wasn't some guy. I guess he was. He was at the time. He was sort of a front runner in terms of talking about language, and he wrote this book that was called Reflections on the English Language in 1770. And what Robert Baker said in the book, and this is, I mean, people have looked at this and tried to to trace the origins of this fewer, less issue with count nouns. And Robert Baker said, this word is most commonly used in speaking of a number where I should think fewer would do better. No fewer than 100 appears to me not only more elegant than no less than 100, but strictly proper. He did just kind of decide arbitrarily. He did. I mean, he's he's really stating his opinion here. He says, you know, appears to me not only more elegant than no less than 100, but strictly proper. Okay, so maybe the strictly proper is sounds sounds a little intimidating, but he's he's stating an opinion here. So he's talking about the word... Less. He, he's talking fewer. about the word less. The word less is most commonly used in speaking of a number. And he just thinks, ah, I feel like fewer would do better. So he's going on this gut impulse, which is, for the record, fine. It is fine. Right? Like, there's nothing... Would you say if there's anything ungrammatical about saying there is fewer... I get fewer sun? 
I guess not. It's just not the way that we speak in standard English. It's just style and culture, right? That right. dictates the way that we feel about words. Right. And so I guess that's what I'm getting at is in in standard English these days, we see we see less being used for both um, to re- when referring to both count nouns and mass nouns, and I think that's fine. Um, All right. Yeah, I don't I don't see any problem with that, especially since the only real reasoning that that anybody can find to go on is this one person's opinion from 1770. So I think we can say less to refer to countable items. Um, unless you think that we're replacing one dude's opinion from 1770 <laughs> with two people's opinion from the present, like I get that that's a legitimate criticism that you could make, but what we're trying to say is that this reflects the way that language is commonly used and understood now. Right. This isn't just the two of us making an arbitrary rule, which, by the way, Rosie, I'm now on your side. I, I am, I am bought, I buy into this. You can use less to refer to count nouns and mass nouns, but fewer only to refer to count nouns. I get that. Um, because this actually reflects the way that th- these words are used in what is called the corpus of English, like the body of language that bounces around every day. Exactly. And and the one exception that I would say is, comes back to this question of context and style that David and I have been talking about. If you're writing a formal paper, mm-hmm. you probably want to use fewer to refer to count nouns because in that context, I mean, that's still kind of what's on the books as the, quote, right way. Okay. So this is the more the more formal option. They're both correct, but this is more formal? Right. That, I would say so. Okay. Well, cool. Thank you, Rosie. Oh, you're welcome. I, I feel like I, I learned something today. Thank you for, for disabusing me of this of this superstition. Of course. <laughs> uh, and thank you, grammarians. You can learn anything. David out. Rosie out.